Exciting one today in a brand new city that we've never covered on this channel before, but today we're gonna to be covering everything that you need to know if you're thinking about moving or living in Davis, California. Let's check it out. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're Lance and Lauren with the L2 Home Group, and on this channel we talk all about what it's like living in Sacramento. So jumping right into it, we're gonna be covering a town that was listed as one of the top suburbs to live outside of Sacramento based off of niche.com, and that's gonna be Davis, California. So first and foremost, where's Davis located at? Davis is gonna be located about 15 miles west of Sacramento along Interstate 80. It's gonna be across the causeway, and it's gonna be located in the county just next to Sacramento. It's gonna be Yolo County. Now the population of Davis is going to be just over 67,000 people and the total town itself is going to be just about 9.9 .9 to 10 square miles across. One of the main draws to this town is it has a desirable quality of life, it has that small town vibe, small town feel, and it's going to be predominantly a college town with one of the main draws being that fact that it's a college town with the University of California Davis being located here. So next up we want to cover education here. Now, Davis is well known for its awesome public school system here. The schools in Davis are all a part of Davis Joint Unified School District from elementary all the way up through high school. So similar to Elk Grove, all of these schools are going to be on the same school calendar, the same schedule. So whether you have an elementary kid, a middle schooler, or a high schooler, they're all going to have similar start and end times with similar vacation dates throughout the year, making your life a little bit easier if you're sending your kids to public schools here. Davis Joint Unified School District is made up of 17 schools ranging from elementary, middle school, and then lastly to the high school. Now, let's talk a little bit more about Davis High School. Davis Senior High School is an awesome high school that's very well known in the greater Sacramento region for its sports program. So if you're looking to get your high schooler into a sports program, Davis High School is a great place to be. They have a well-known football team. They have a well-known track and field team that when the main region gets together, they pretty much smoke all of us from Sacramento. They also have an awesome water polo team that's one of the best in the nation. They're ranked very well. Now, we can't talk about education in Davis without talking about UC Davis. So like you mentioned earlier, this is a college town. UC Davis is a well-known university that's ranked number one in the nation for agricultural studies, as well as number one in the nation for veterinary sciences. So if you've got a college kid that wants to go to school to become a vet, this might be the best place for you. UC Davis this last semester was comprised of 37,000 students taking up a big majority of the population here. Now, if you're in the heart of Davis and you're close to UC Davis, um, you can definitely see all of the college kids out. They pretty much fill up all the coffee shops. Um, we were here a few weeks ago for a track meet. We hung out at Starbucks and you could just see college kids everywhere studying for finals. So it is a little bit busier in certain parts of the city just because it is that college town. Yeah, so it's one of those things where you know, being that we're so close to UC Davis or, you know, another school like Sacramento State, you know, it's one of those things that I think we take a little bit for granted. So being that it's a well-known nationally ranked college for different types of medical, veterinary, agriculture, it's one of those things where even if you live in Sacramento or if you live in one of the surrounding areas, your kid going to UC Davis um, is going to be one of those things. It's pretty close to home. It's probably from certain parts of Sacramento. It's probably only like a 15, 20, 25 minute commute when you're dealing with the causeway. So, you know, it keeps them kind of close to home, but not too far from home. So if you're thinking about making a move or relocating to Davis, a lot of people have the question of like, what type of community events are there? What are the things that you can do within the community? So the city does put on a ton of fun events and different things that happen throughout the city throughout the year for the residents and for the students who call Davis home. So one of the bigger events that the city of Davis puts on is gonna be the annual 4th of July event. The celebration is gonna have everything from live music, entertainment, they're gonna have food trucks, they're gonna have a bunch of different games for the kiddos, and of course, they're obviously gonna have fireworks there, so that's probably one of their bigger events. Then they do a bunch of other smaller events that are gonna be out throughout the year. One of the other smaller events is gonna be the Davis Neighbors Night Out. So this night out is gonna be kind of more of an informal, kind of big, giant city block party that's gonna be a way for the community to kind of get to know one another, there, get to know your neighbors. So it's held in October. It's meant to create some familiarity with the existing UC Davis students as well as the new incoming students and just kind of create that whole community vibe. It happens in October. It's just an awesome block party where everybody can get together to kind of tailgate. Um, there's music, there's fun events, there's you know games and contests that they do. 
um, to really make the existing students as well as the existing community welcome in the new incoming students each year. And um, it's one thing that Davis is known for. Um, usually they'll have you know camera reporters out here. It'll make the local news. Um, it's just a really fun event for the community to really come together. UC Davis also does picnic day. That's probably going to be a little bit more geared towards you know the actual students of UC Davis. But that's always a fun event that a lot of people look forward to each year. Then there's also going to be the downtown holiday candlelight parade and that's obviously going to be more towards the uh, Christmas season December where they're going to have floats parades they're going to have things going through the old town or downtown area of Davis so a bunch of cool events a bunch of fun things that uh, the city of Davis puts on for the community for the residents for the you know incoming students and for the existing students yeah and at the end of the parade it's really cool so the parade takes place it's a candlelit parade you've got decorated cars you've got floats you've got people walking you know throwing candy at the bystanders sitting on the side watching the parade and then at the end of the parade it ends in um, Davis located close to the university they have a big tree they do a giant tree lighting ceremony um, with everybody standing around handing, holding their candles um, to celebrate the beginning of the Christmas season that usually happens around the first week of December so if you're digging the information on this channel go ahead and give us that like and subscribe button we are dropping new videos every Tuesday and Friday on what it's like to live in Sacramento and the surrounding areas like Davis, Elk Grove, Folsom, Granite Bay, Roseville, Rockland, Lincoln everything in between so there should be a phone number popping up so as much as we love making these videos we actually love more helping you move or relocate to these areas that we like to highlight so give us a phone call shoot us that text or send us that email that way we can put together the best game plan that's right for you as it relates to moving or relocating to the greater Sacramento area. All right, so the next thing we want to cover is weather. So if you're thinking about moving to Davis, you're probably wondering what's the weather like there? Well, we do have four awesome seasons that are all different and they definitely show throughout the year. So the first one we'll cover is going to be summer. Now, the summer months do tend to get hot here with a few days over 100 degrees. If you're living in Davis, you're going to want to make sure you're running your AC on those days. Now, let's talk about winters. Winters are cold here, but they're not crazy cold. There's no snow that happens in Davis. Um, usually our winters, you know, are anywhere in the, the highs of the day are going to be in the 50s or low 60s with the temperature dipping to around the, the low to mid 30s at nighttime. Now our falls and our springs are absolutely gorgeous here. One thing that I personally love about Davis is it's very similar to Sacramento in the essence of the tree-lined streets. When you're driving around downtown Davis, there's a ton of tree-lined streets with the canopies that cover, and in the spring and fall when they're and the leaves are changing and it looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so this season in particular, I mean, we're filming this at the beginning of June and the weather has been absolutely beautiful for these last, like I would say the last month. So it's been maybe highs of around 80, 85, lows, still getting to the high 60s, mid 60s. So you get that nice cool Delta breeze. Um, spring and fall in this area is going to be absolutely gorgeous. There are some summertime heats that, you know, it'll get above 100 a couple of days, you know, in the, in the summertime. Not unbearable, it's a dry heat, so it's not super miserable or humid. So again, if you're, you've got a student that's relocating to UC Davis or you're thinking about following your student out here, the weather is not super miserable. We don't have snow. We get mild rain in the wintertime. Sometimes it's, you know, it's wet, but it's not snow. It's not sleet. It's not deep freezes like Texas. So, you know, that's the cool thing about this area. Now, the next thing that we're gonna talk about is that nightlife entertainment type scene that Davis has to offer. So for the most part, Davis is going to be comprised mostly of uh, college age students. So, you know, I think she said 50% of the, the residents here for Davis are going to be, you know, mostly students, you know, new or returning students to UC Davis. So there is a decent bar scene as it relates to kind of those college bars. There's a couple popular bars that we'll talk about, but for the most part, the city is pretty quiet. Doesn't have a ton of entertainment venues, doesn't have any professional sports teams. Um, you know, they have the football team for uh, Davis High School. They have the football team for UC Davis, the college. Um, they have all the different uh, college and high school athletic sports. But outside of that, you're not going to really have any major uh, professional teams. If a major professional team is something that you want to check out, that's going to be something that you're going to want to go into downtown Sacramento for, which, again, we said is about a 15 to 20 minute drive. So located close to the university, you're going to have the Wiki Bar and the G Street Wunder Bar, which is going to be, what is that, a German, it's a German bar? It's going to be a German bar that's really popular with the college students. So most of that college crowd scene is going to be pretty busy Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights. They're probably all going to be sleeping off hangovers going into Sunday and Monday, but 
for the most part, those are going to be pretty popular college bars that are around here. At least that's some, been some of the reviews. Yeah, and the Winky Bar is a really cool Hawaiian bar that has like a whole Hawaiian theme with kind of like the straw um, style inside, the kind of beachy vibe um, that a lot of the locals really enjoy. So everything kind of revolves around the college as it relates to some of the other events. You're also going to have different types of performing arts. You're going to have jazz concerts. Um, you're going to have all these different events that are going to happen at the Madavi Center, which is going to be located at the UC Davis campus. That tends to be a pretty popular place for some of the more cultural arts or cultural things that you would go there and see. And then you're also going to have some really cool parks and green spaces. So we're at one of the parks. Um, the high school's right over there to our left. Um, they've got a skate park and they've got a dog park here. And that park goes, you know, pretty far over to the elementary school so this one is rainbow park you also have pioneer park and then you also have central park which is a little bit closer to the college so lastly since we are real estate agents let's talk a little bit about the housing market kind of what you can expect if you're going to be you know moving here or relocating to davis or if you have a student that's relocating to davis and then really what the temperature of that market is going to look like so while there are a lot of residents who have probably lived in the town of Davis for a long time and called Davis home, so 50% of the population is gonna be college students and you are gonna see some housing and different things like that that are gonna reflect college student housing, right? Dorms, uh, apartment type, condo type uh, looking buildings. But then you're also gonna have some cute cottage bungalow houses that are gonna be like located in that downtown uh, part of Davis. You're also gonna have some sprawling ranch properties that are gonna be you know a little bit further out towards the outside skirts you know there's a golf course out here as well too so davis is still going to have a little bit for everybody as it relates to housing so with the popularity of davis being a college town there is going to be an increased demand as it relates to the housing as and also the demand for uh, rental or investment properties so there are you know certain situations where we've seen investors that come into the davis market and they start purchasing single family homes or, or multi-family homes so that way they can also rent those out to college students because they're going to get a consistent rental income from those properties so with the demand and for Davis and the fact that this is a relatively a smaller town, the affordability is going to be a little bit more on the non-favorable side. So when we looked at the numbers for April, the average sold price for the month of April for single family homes was just right around 900K. So the entry point to Davis is gonna be much higher. So what tends to happen a lot of times is like, let's say you have a student that's getting ready to come to UC Davis. What a lot of people have decided to do is maybe find housing that's gonna be more closer to Sacramento, Sacramento County, Folsom, Roseville, Rockland, Lincoln, and that tends to be a little bit more of a popularity. Now, if you really wanna be super close to your kid and you wanna move here, or you are thinking about purchasing a rental property, it's probably gonna cost you a little bit more, but I do believe rents are gonna be a little bit higher in this area because you're always gonna have that constant flow and that constant traffic of new students or existing students that are gonna be needing that housing. So if you have a student that's moving to Davis in the near future, or you're thinking about following your student that's going to go to Davis, or if you just want to come here for the great vibe that this town offers, that's something that we specialize in. We specialize in helping you make your next move to the Sacramento region a little bit easier. We are licensed real estate agents and we do answer all of the phone calls. So if you have any questions or any comments or you want to learn more about the area, definitely reach out to us. There should be a number popping up right now um, and we would love to help you out with all of your real estate needs. Yeah, so we are the ones that answer those phone calls, emails, and text messages. We do absolutely love when you guys call us, text us, email us, or schedule a Zoom call with us. So, you know, if you have any questions about Davis or any of the surrounding areas, like we said, if your student's getting ready to move here, give us a call, shoot us that text, or send us that email, and we will see you on the next one.